it's Mrs. Higgins. I'm going to show you how you can help your kiddo at home to uh, help them to multiply two digits by one digit. Um, I'm just going to go over the kind of old school way that we learned and just talk about why that can be confusing. Um, so, for example, back in the day, we learned using what's called algorithm where you just stack it. So three times five is 15, but you put a one up here. And then five times one is five, you add the one. You don't know, quite know why sometimes, but five times one is five plus one is six. So your answer is 65. So now we teach them differently. We teach them using more like, why are you doing those things versus like, just do this. So I'm just gonna go over with you the process and the steps we're taking to get your third grader to where they need them to be and so that they can understand why they're doing the things that they're doing. So I'm gonna start with something very basic called an array. And um, we teach them when you're multiplying, I don't know, six times two, you're gonna draw six ones two times in two rows. So your ones look like this, but um, we just, I call them dots in my room just to make it a little bit easier. So six ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you're gonna draw it twice. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six times two is 12. So this is what we're teaching them. We're kind of past this, but this is just your basic array. So to show them how to multiply to algorithm, we go through this process. So if we're doing 13 times 5, we want them to draw an array using 13. We're going to draw it five times. So in math, if you've just never seen these, um, this is a rod. It's a tens rod. So there's 10 little ones connected here. And then these are your ones. So in my room, I just call these sticks. They're called tens rods or tens blocks. And these are just called your ones blocks or they're called units. Um, it just depends on where you're at. But um, just for the sake of drawing, I call them sticks and dots. Um, so we're gonna draw 13 five times. So this will be my stick and my dot. So five times. So one, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. So I have 13 five times. So then we break up the tens and the ones and then we're gonna count everything. Since these are 10 sticks, I tell students to count them as tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And these are ones, so count them as ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. These are called partial products because you're multiplying two numbers to get a big product because really we multiplied 10 times five because we have 10 five times, so it's 50. Then we multiply three times five because we have three five times and that's 15. So these are your partial products. And then we tell the kiddos to put them together because you're putting your tens and your ones together to represent 13 five times. So we add 50 plus 15 and we get 65. So our product is 65. Okay, so we use this model of separating their tens and their ones to um, get them to transfer to using an area model, which is very new, if you ask me. Um, I never learned this way till I had to teach it, but it makes a lot of sense and it's very helpful. Um, they're also expected to use area model in fourth and fifth grade, so they are introduced to it in third grade. So pretty much it's almost the same thing. Um, so we transfer it using arrays into now area model. So your area model for 13 times five is going to look like this. Okay, because you can decompose 13 into tens and ones, just like we did over here, tens and ones. So for 13, we have a 10 and a three because over here we have a 10 and three and we have that five times, okay? So then instead of them drawing the sticks and the dots, which are the tens and the ones, they're just multiplying it. So then we teach them five times 10 is 50, and then five times three is 15. It's the same thing. Here you're representing with place value blocks, and here you're just using your facts. Same exact thing. Um, so then we teach them that these are your partial products because you multiplied and when you multiply the answer is the product and it's only part of the big product. So these are your partial products. So then you add them to get 
65, right? Okay, so then how do we transfer this to algorithm? I'll show you. So I'll leave this one here, that way you can see the transfer, and I'll take this one away, because now you can see how these are connected. So here's where we start, here's where we go next, and here's where we get to the algorithm. So what we do is we're doing 13 times five. So 13 times five. So just like over here, you multiply the ones, and then you multiply the tens. You're doing the same thing. Instead of drawing a box, you're just doing it using your stacking, your algorithm. So here, we do three times five, which is 15, right? Right. Since we are no longer using the ones, I want them to be able to see just the 10. So over here, we have 13. It still looks like it's 13. Of course, I wrote it down. But I want them to see that it's a 10 because we're done using this three. So what I tell them is after we're done using our ones, we move on to our tens. And so since I'm done using three ones, I'm not using ones anymore. So now I have no more ones to multiply. So we change it to a zero, which is now your 10 times five, which is right here, 10 times five. So then now it's 10 times five is 50. And then we add that. So we're no, I don't necessarily, like teaching them to add that thing on the top and then add it after you multiply just because it can be confusing they can forget to add um, if they can just relay the work they're doing over here to just over here they're going to be more successful so you just teach them to add your partial products just like you did right here it's right here so then five and six so then your answer is 65. okay so that's how we're teaching them to get to algorithm um I don't mind if you teach them at home the way you learned. Just know that it can be confusing because adding something on top when you're multiplying is confusing because then you have to add your partial products. So it's just a lot of steps to remember. And if we can't necessarily know why we're doing these steps, then it's hard to help your kiddo. And that's how I feel as a teacher. I don't know why I'm doing that either. So that's why I had to learn to like, why am I doing these things in the first place? So. Let's just do one more for the sake of one more. So we'll do something pretty simple. We'll do 25 times, I don't know, six. Okay. So then your area model will look like this because you can decompose 25 into 20 and five, six times. So 20 times six is 120. Six times five is 30. You'll add these together, which will be you know, 150. Great. So then let's just transfer it over here. So 25 times 6. So look at your ones place. 5 times 6 is 30. You're done using your ones. So now let's just look at the tens. There's a 2 in the 10, so it's 20. So get rid of the ones because you're done using them. 20 times 6 is 100. You go. So it's the same. They look exactly the same, just set up differently. Um, <clears throat> if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it below. I'm open to any feedback. If you find this very helpful, I, um, I appreciate that feedback too. Thanks.